Hi and welcome to another episode of Toby's Barbecue Corner aka Redken Brymaster. Today we're making braised duroc pork cheeks on lamb's lettuce in the Dutch oven. And what you need for it and how to do it I'm going to show you in this episode. And this is what we need for today. Now obviously we need Duroc pork cheeks and that's 1.7 kgs of lovely Duroc pork cheeks. Now we need some uh, beef stock, we need some red wine, carrots, shallots, some dried tomatoes, uh, then you can use dried pears or plums. We need some thyme, salt, pepper, oil, lamb's lettuce and a little bit of flour. Right, in the first step we're going to take the plums and we're just going to cut them into little slices. Um, you know, you don't have to go overly fine with it because it will um, cook down nicely in the Dutch oven. And we're going really low and slow on this. So initially we're going to obviously um, give all the vegetables as well as the pork cheeks a good sear. And then we're going to reduce the heat down and then um, we'll cook this for about two hours. Um, yeah, at fairly low heat, um, you know, so that the Pork cheeks cook nicely, but don't um, cook down too much and, you know, get too soft. Um, and then eventually become full pork cheeks. <laughs> so obviously we don't want that. But yeah, so just give it a little, a little chop. And then we're just going to put the plums as well as the tomatoes together in one of those little glass jars and leave it in there until we need them. On to the shallots and the carrots. And uh, again, we're just going to roughly chop them up. So obviously remove all the outer skin. And then with the carrots, very simple as well. Just cut off the ends, peel them and chop them into little chunks. And then we're gonna take care of the meat. And last but not least, let's take care of the Duroc pork cheeks. And uh, now obviously, as we're braising them, you do need quite a bit of fat, but uh, you know, that silver skin that you see here, we definitely want to take that off because, um, yeah, it, uh, it might not render down the way we want it, so better be safe than sorry, but you know, obviously try to remove as little of the meat as possible when you're doing it. But uh, yeah, I think this works rather well. Now the pork cheeks are ready to get seasoned a little bit with some salt and pepper. And then we're going to put some flour on it to make sure that they get a nice browning later on in the Dutch oven. And obviously, as usual, make sure you do it from all sides. And then we add the flour. Don't use too much, you know, just give them a little bit of a coating. Now we're ready to go outside. Whilst the Dutch oven is heating up, we're going to melt some butter and add a little bit of oil. The butter is melted and the Dutch oven is nice and hot and we're now going to put in the first batch of our pork cheeks. Out with the first batch and in with the second. Out with the meat and in with the vegetables. The vegetables have gotten some great color and now we're going to use the red wine and what you want to do is you're going to take one third of the red wine that we're going to be using. It's about 200 ml. 
And then we're going to reduce that down and then we're going to add an additional 200 ml and then we do it for a third time. A couple of minutes later ready for the next 200 ml. And I said we're going to reduce it down again and do it a third time. And in for the third time. Now very important with the rest of the bottle, you know, don't put it back inside, don't waste it, drink it yourself. About 25 minutes later, it has thickened considerably and we're now at the stage where we can add our cheeks. And then we're going to add the stock. Time to add the stock. So that everything is nicely covered. And then a good helping of time. Now obviously if you have fresh time that would be preferred but unfortunately I couldn't get any. So I'm going to use the dried stuff. And last but not least some good old salt and pepper. And then we're going to close it up and we're going to leave it closed for two hours at about 120 degrees for the first hour and about 100 degrees for the second hour. The first hour is up and I've already reduced the heat down to 100 degrees Celsius and I think that is looking absolutely fantastic already. We're going to give that a quick stir and then we're going to close the lid again. Two hours later, let's lift the lid Wow guys, that smells absolutely fantastic. So what we're going to do now is we're going to remove the meat, we're going to puree uh, the vegetables as well as the sauce and then we are ready to eat. Alright and we're ready to plate up so let's take a couple of those cheeks and wow are they soft and nice I'm very excited about it some of that sauce that we just pureed right on top and the lamb's lettuce salad is already there and I've made a quick vinaigrette give that a quick shake and then right on top as well and then we're ready to eat and we're gonna dig in. All right guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video about the braised Duroc pork cheeks on lamb's lettuce. Now going low and slow on it really makes a difference. So take your time um, and you, you, know, you will obviously reap the rewards. Now if you did enjoy the video, um, I would appreciate a comment and a thumbs up. And please head over to that subscribe button for more great videos to come. And I hope to see you soon again at Toby's Barbecue Corner.